Welcome, welcome, Adam here, the Enduro Diabetic. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I get my blood sugar readings live through my smart devices in the middle of my sessions. So I can keep track of what my blood sugar is doing live whilst I'm in the middle of a run or a bike. If you're new to the channel, thanks for joining. As the name suggests, I am a type one diabetic. I have been for the last seven years now, and I like training for endurance sports. So in this channel, I talk all things diabetes, all things endurance training. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a screenshot of how I get the um, setup up and running on my computer. And then I downloaded my watch, and I'll show you how I get on with my watch. Once it's on the watch, it's the same principle if you're using a cycling computer or any other type of device that you use when you're training. So, I use the Mayao Mayao sensor with a Freestyle Libra. Now, the Freestyle Libra is not a continuous glucose monitor, so I require the Mayao Mayao sensor to turn my flash glucose monitor into a continuous glucose monitor. So this is sending signals to my phone. At that point, I use the Xdrip app. So the Xdrip app is my app of choice. There's a couple of reasons why. Number one, I just think it's brilliant and I find it very intuitive to log what I'm doing with my carbohydrates, with my insulin and to keep track on what's going on. And the second reason that I use the Xtrip app is because they have Garmin ready apps that can give me my live sugar readings on my devices. So I will show you the computer screen and take you through the steps of how to get the Xtrip app for your Garmin through the Garmin Connect Store. Then I'll show you how to upload it onto your watch and then select the settings on your watch. Don't forget, if you do find this video useful, do hit the bell button, do hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, it helps the channel. Let's dive into it. Okay, so to start off with, if you aren't familiar with the Garmin Connect app, then simply punch in the Garmin Connect Store into Google that will come up with the website that you are looking for. Okay, so you'll see that it's app.garmin.com. Click on the store. Then you've got the search option at the top. So what you wanna look for is the Xdrip app. Then you'll see all of these different types of ones. You want the Xdrip data field app. That's the one that will give you the individual data fields inside your running session or cycling session, whatever it may be. You can just check a list of all the devices just to make sure that your one is there. It's got all the Edge devices, which is the cycling computers, all the different forerunners. The one that I'm using at the minute is the 735XT. Okay, then we just simply click the download button. It will download it into your Garmin Connect app. So I'll just get the Connect app up. All right, once we log in, I won't bother going through this now because it'll take forever. But ultimately, you'll just log in and then it'll allow you to download it. Okay, so then you get the Garmin Express application up this is on your desktop you click whichever device you want to upload it onto in this case i'll do the forerunner it's just going to quickly check for some updates and let me know that i'm good i should be able to then click on the apps and if i previously downloaded it it will show not necessarily in your device yet because you haven't installed it on the device but if you click on all then it will show up in the list. Where are we, where are we? There we go, the X drip stroke spike data field. Okay, then you simply sync your watch with your computer at this point, and that data field app will then be on your watch. So let's just assume that I've done that now and synced it. I've already synced it because it's already on my watch. So then you'll just see in the list where it has your device, it's got the extra data field app. Then you simply just tap to sync from the home page. Job done.
So the way to connect your watch to the computer to download the app onto your watch is simply through the power cable onto your watch and then into the USB port on your computer. Once you have clicked sync while it's connected, it'll want to actually do the update when you disconnect it from your computer. This is going to go through. It's got one update, an estimated time to install. OK, let's just crack on with this. Hopefully it'll take less than a minute. There we go, good, nice and quick. Okay, so then if you are going to set up the data field in, for example, your run, um, you will need to go to the menu, go to the activity settings, go to the data screens, and you'll actually have to select which data screen you want. In this case, it's going to be the XDRIP app data screen. So let's just check in field. Um, in screen one, what have I got? I've got my time on the average pace, my distance, and my heart rate. No, so that isn't the one that I want. Uh, no, what am I doing? I need to go back, sorry. Right, let's have a look at screen two. Okay, let's just check the layout. Okay, so again, I've got a four field layout. I've got the nice stride, which is my running power. Um, and yes, I've got my CGM at the bottom. And you'll see that it's instantly hooked up to my phone there at the bottom. So you'll notice there is a timer on the left, which tells you how many minutes it was since it took a last reading. And there's a small figure on the right hand side, which at the minute said minus one. That minus one is um, the difference from the last time that it took a reading. The big number in the middle being the uh, the actual glucose reading. Okay, so then you're going to want to make sure that you've selected that app. So in this instance, it's my field four, which is the extra data field. If you select the field four, then you keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down until you find the connect IQ. That's what you want. It's not down as. Um, the name of the app. So the name of the app is inside the Connect IQ bit, which is the XDRIP data field. So you want to select the XDRIP data field, and then it will show in that field four of my screen two. If I then go back out and give it a press on the actual run, uh, sort my fingers out. There we go. Start the run. That's the wrong screen. Hang on, go back and do it again. Get rid of that one. Look at this magic. Doing all this with your left hand. Okay, right, let's go again. Down to screen two. Now, worth noting, there, so CGM will wait maximum of five minutes. So basically, it only takes a reading once every five minutes. So when you start your run, sometimes it won't have taken a reading quick enough. Now you can see here that it's actually coming up with my, uh, my actual live reading again. So five minutes is the longest that you need to wait. Okay. So a few things to consider. I've been using a Freestyle Libra, a Maya Maya sensor. I use Garmin devices. I am Garmin through and through. And I use the Xdrip app. If you have all of those things, it's relatively simple to get your glucose measurements on your watch. It sends a signal every five minutes, which for me is plenty just to keep me in the low, make sure that I understand when my sugars are going low while I'm training. And that is that. Relatively simple if you know what you're doing, but if you haven't seen it before, it can be quite complicated. You can get yourself tied up in knots with little things like inside the watch setting, it doesn't say that it's the XDRIP app, you have to go into the Garmin app, um, the Garmin setting before it says it's an XDRIP. So little bits like that that are just useful for you guys to know. Hopefully you have found that useful. If you did, please do click subscribe, hit the bell button, tell your friends, it all helps the channel. Thanks for joining, everybody get out there, keep training. Big love.